The time has come to talk about Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4060 graphics card. In this video, I will tell you everything I know about it, including specs, performance, release date and price. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now back to our topic. I have to be 100% clear, there are no leaked specs for RTX 4060 just yet. However, we already know what RTX 4070 Ti is like. And we do have good leaks of the upcoming RTX 4060 Ti specs, which I already covered in another video. So it is not difficult to deduce what RTX 4060 will be like. And that is exactly what I shall do in this video. In terms of specs, RTX 4060 will be pretty underwhelming. I expect it to feature fewer than 4000 CUDA cores, paired with 8GB of 18GB per second GDDR6 memory across a 128-bit bus for a total of 288GB per second bandwidth. TDP is likely to be between 170 and 200 watts, which means that suggested power supply is going to be 500 to 550 watts to power this card properly. In games, RTX 4060 should perform somewhere in between RTX 3060 Ti and 3070, so about a 20 to 30 percent improvement compared to RTX 3060 it will be replacing. Here is how it may look like in some of the games we know. Around 60 FPS average in Cyberpunk 2077 at 1440p on high graphics preset. And close to 100 FPS average at 1080p resolution. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider close to 100 FPS at 1440p on the highest quality preset. When dropping the resolution down to 1080p, expect close to 130 FPS. It looks like RTX 4060 will handle most current AAA games just fine, even at 1440p. However, do not expect to see the same results in games that are coming in 2023 and 2024. Those may push RTX 4060 out of the 1440p segment, that is unless you are ok with using DLSS or lowering the graphics settings to medium. In terms of pure raster performance using very high and ultra presets in games, I expect 4060 to become a 1080p GPU in a few years time. Also that 8GB memory buffer does not offer much of a shelf life to the card either. How weird will the RTX 4060 look taking over the job from a 12GB RTX 3060? Well, I guess not that much weirder than an 8GB 3060 Ti or 3070 for that matter. In terms of performance, I expect RTX 4060 to be an underwhelming upgrade over RTX 3060, about the same as 3060 was underwhelming versus RTX 2060. Mid-class graphics cards are just not good these days. Halo products, such as RTX 4090, are getting insane performance increases compared to the previous generation, while RTX 4050, 4060 and 4070 will be only marginally better than what RTX 30 series offer right now. Honestly, I do not think there is a good reason to wait for RTX 4060, especially if you want to build a PC to game right now. I would go for buying the best available last gen card with a $300 to $400 budget and not feel any buyer's remorse. Sadly, it is exactly what the company wants because Nvidia still has a lot of RTX 30 series stock to clear, since crypto miners no longer buy them in huge quantities. But if you still want to wait for RTX 4060, then you will have to be very patient. I expect to see it launch either in the spring or summer, somewhere between March and July this year. Computex 2023 event running from 30th of May to 2nd of June is the perfect opportunity for Nvidia to reveal the new product. As for the price, I am afraid I have more bad news. I expect it to be between $350 and $400. 
A price increase compared to the previous generation should not be a surprise by now. Just look at what is happening with RTX 4080 and 4070 Ti prices. They are absolutely insane. Who would have guessed a year ago that we will see RTX 4070 Ti cards sell for well over $800? And these are normal prices, not inflated by any stock shortages. I'm still waiting for AMD to respond and bring the price war to Nvidia, but I have little hope of that happening. What do you think about all this? Let's have a chat in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim, until next time.